Hey there guys, I'm Wesen8488 here and today we're playing No One Survived and we're going to do some tips and tricks. So the first tip is try the boot camp tutorial. It will give you a bit of a basics of how to move and what type of things are available in the game. Tip number two, obviously you'll make your character up guys and then you'll decide either whether you play in the multiplayer or single player. You will then obviously have to decide on your difficulty. To start with, I'd go with Asia because it's a bit of a standard. Catastrophic's kind of hard and no one survived. I'm gonna say it's pretty insane. Which also goes in with Corpse Tide Attack. Now, Corpse Tide Attack is like seven days to die Fortnite. If you activate it, as you can see, these get highlighted. And that means you decide on how often you get a horde coming, how many waves of them, scale of them, how strong they are, and obviously, number of zombie times. I have no idea what that's to do. Number of dead bodies, a virus fatality rate, and so on and so forth. Tip number three. Now, if you're the first sign off, you're already going to have the novice gift pack active, which is a good thing. And I'm going to show you. Okay. So, as you can see, the novice gift pack gives me quite a few items and a bit of food. So, I've got some arrows, a pot, some bandages, some bottles of water, some medication, and some shots of different things, some food, some dry batteries, some ammo, a med kit, a bow, a spear, a pistol, a dagger or knife, a construction hammer, and an axe. Now, if you don't have the novice gift pack ticked, this will happen. So as you can see, I now have nothing on me at all. So obviously for your, your more experienced players, it's going to be a bit more fun. Okay, so tip number four, guys. Now, obviously, when you come in, like I say, you have no items. Obviously, I've just picked up some stones, and now we need to try and find a stick. Now, obviously, no matter what, where you are, you're always going to spawn in the same location. So, if you know where a few items are, it makes it a lot easier. So, we're going to go over to the hammer icon. And we're going to try and construct ourselves a stone axe, a stone knife, not a sword, it's actually a knife and a wooden spear, which is now in our inventory. So we have our axe in slot one, our spear in slot two, and we've had to move our knife to slot four. Tip number five. Obviously, like I say, you spawn always in the same area no matter what you're gonna be doing and no matter what difficulty on the map. And obviously, you're still gonna need a few more items. So you might be wanting to get yourself a bow, which is just wooden sticks and some plant fiber. And obviously you're going to need to make some stone arrows. So of course, again, sticks and a stone. So there's a stone, there's a stick for the arrow. But we're going to need some plant fibre. Now obviously the general rule of thumb is hitting a small tree like this. When it hits. Or give me a log. This time it usually gives me plant fibre to be honest. Maybe I'm looking at the wrong size. Maybe it's just to hit. There we go, we got some plant fiber after all of that. So even if you fail at which one, one of them will give you the item you need. It's a bit difficult to always tell which trees are that one's gonna give me the wood. Anyway, so now that we've got our sticks and we've got our plant fiber and we've actually got a log, we're going to make a rough bow, which is probably gonna drop on the floor near my look, which it has. And obviously some stone arrows. Now I have to make them one at a time. I can only make one anyway. So that's going to go there. So it may take a bit of space and... Yeah, yeah, sometimes I have to move your items around just a little bit. Okay, so tip number six, guys. I know it sounds strange. So as you see, you have weapons. Now, obviously, all of these are actually still tools or weapons. Now, knives can go in either slot 1 or slot 4. Pistols can only go in slot 3. And your main weapons will go in slot 1 or slot 2. You can have, like, your normal tools in slot 1 or 2, but have them in slot 5 and 6. Unfortunately, a machete and spear and guns, like the AK, have to go in slot 1 or 2. Unfortunately, axes and pickaxes will either be 5 or 6. Or maybe sometimes have to be in slot two or one. You gotta be careful, guys. Unfortunately, it does happen. Tip number seven. Now, like I say, we are in the starting area. 
Now, these barns here will have no zombies in them. So, it's always good to come over here straight away and to see what is available. Now, what you are looking for is boxes like this, which will make you do quite a long search. Unfortunately, I have nothing in them. And you can sometimes find the odd few things. Now, you will notice it will say, do a long search and hold E. Now, with cards, you have the boot to open, or you can actually just check straight away. And you may find a backpack, which is awesome, which gives us extra inventory space, which will make your life a lot easier. So you can always set things up a lot better for whatever you need. Now, let's see, is there a difference in the backpacks? Okay. And as you can see, the smaller the backpack, the less you're going to be able to carry. So, always a good thing to pick up the biggest backpack you can to put them items in your storage. Or at least on your person to be stored. And sometimes inventory management is quite key in this. So as you can see, boots of the car, front of the car. And we found some ore or ingots. Again, front of the car has some loot. Fortunately, I'm not going to worry about batteries and I'm not going to worry about car parts because I have no idea at the minute how to do cars. But that might be in a different video. And we found an extension magazine and a compensator. And like I say, we should hope to find something in this box here or set of boxes. And we have a iron axe. That's going to save us a lot of time and obviously some raw materials. Now these materials are going to be a bit too heavy for me to carry. Same for the pot. So I will have to remember where these are. Because I will not be able to carry these always with me. So keep an eye out. What you know, what you've searched, and what you've got is going to be key guys. And for some reason that's now... There we go. So med kits and alcohol. This is going to be good. Now we'll check the front of this one. Some iron again. Iron there. What's in the boot? And we found some shoulder flashlights. So we'll put one there. Okay, so we're checking the bin here. So we found some ammo. And we've found some bandages. So, of course, I'm still going to be leaving the simple tools and everything else unless I get a better system to move everything. Plus, I have to decide where I'm going to build in the future. So, we're going to leave all that lot in there for the moment. And that is going to be that for this area. Tip number eight, guys. So, as you know, we've got a flashlight. Obviously, to apply the flashlight, we have to go into our actual person to put it on. And to use a flashlight, it would be T. Unfortunately, we have no battery. Now, if you had got the novice pack, you'll have some dry batteries, like I mentioned. All you do is you'll get your flashlight out, right click, and you say charge. Unfortunately, I have no dry batteries. But I'm going to put it on my character for now, because that's going to make a lot more sense. Plus, it saves a bit of room at the same time. Okay, guys, so once you finally find some batteries, which we now have, we can now add them to our flashlight. So I've had to unpack it because you can't do it inside there. See, can't right click for it. So you have to right click and then say charge, charge again. And now if you hit T, you have a flashlight. Okay, tip number nine. Now, when you come into this area, you'll find this lovely car. Now this car is actually the car you can actually fix and ride. Now, unfortunately, you need to have some repair kits. And it already has a full tank of gas. So what you need to do is put in car repair kits or repairs. And then you'll be able to get in. Now, I, you can get in. No. Oh. And unfortunately, because it's not able to run, I'm not able to drive. Right. Tip number 10. Now, we're still in the starting area. And we're moving over here. Now, this area will have zombies. Unlike that area, that has no zombies. So, depending on the setting, depends how difficult these zombies will be. Now, what you'll see is there's going to be a few 
caches of loot in there and some caches of loot in that house. Pretty good caches as well to start off with, which is going to be really good. Now, obviously, what you're going to mostly try and find is either guns or at least clothing. The reason why you want to find clothing is because you need to protect yourself from being scratched so you don't take as much damage. So, as you can see, I've got nothing in one of them. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Do we have any luck with a weapon in here? No, we don't. I'm having some bad luck at the minute. This is not good. And we have some electrical furnace. Okay. Not really worried about them parts. Not worried about that. And condense. Condenser. Whatever that is. I'm guessing it's to do with a radiator of some sort. I have no idea. Unfortunately, I don't speak the lingo. Which they are going to be fixing, guys, at some point. It's just obviously early access. It'll take them a bit of time. And we've now found a military bag. That is awesome news, and that is going to make things so much easier, so much better for us. So let me just quickly get these items off. Let me quickly throw that one down. And let us go back to that. Let us get this military backpack equipped. And then I have to do a tab to bring these items back into me. Because obviously they're on the floor. Now obviously when you are going around, you can, when you go into a building, have your tab bar open. But obviously you can't really do much on turning. Now now and again it may bring up some items down here which you might not see or be able to get. So do be careful with that guys. Because as you can see, we're coming to the car, we know the backpack's there. It turns up now which is nearby. Okay, now as you can see, I've only just turned around from the car. There is a zombie. So we are going to try and be a bit careful. Now we're going to try and use the bow at this. There's one over there. Let's see. Headshot. And destroyed. There we go. And obviously we've got a failed recovery on the arrow. So at least we've got one back, but not the other. So again, we have to be careful going in. Now sometimes when it comes to doors, you sometimes have to hop hit E. Sometimes you don't. So let's see if there's anything good in this building. Nope. Some ammo. And yes, we have found some clothing. Now, as you can see, guys, the clothing's going to have a bit of differences. Now, we could just go for the jacket, which is minus one speed, bit more defense, cold resistance, heat, and scratch resistance. Uh, because the jacket's better, I'm going to put that in there. I am then going to go to my armor to apply my jacket. So at least we're getting some clothing, which is going to protect us in this day and age. Especially when we're dealing with the zombies. Now, is there anything in that one? Yes, there is. As you can see, there's a big stash in there. So, big amounts of loot. So, again, we're going to check. Obviously, you can sometimes find food. I've seen food places. But we're going to leave the food until we find a place to actually live. There's no point carrying food when you've got nowhere to live. And we just found an AK, guys. <laughs> That's going to be awesome, and that is going to help us. Now, obviously, don't always take the weapons with you. It makes no difference. At some point, you may come back within a very short amount of time to get more of them. So, carrying one or two. Obviously, put them then in your hotbar. Which we'll do like so. We'll make things a lot easier for you. And just come into this place from the start has already made us a bit of loot in a short amount of time and we've got some clothing to show for it and a gun and quite a bit of ammo we might not be able to use all the ammo because we might not have the gun for it but we're still getting a good little stash okay so tip number 11 we'll get our gun out awesome now you can change the rate of fire by hitting B so from single shot Free burst to fully automatic. Now, unfortunately, I've only got one round for this gun, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to be more careful. And to make sure I can see, I'm going to hit T for our flashlight. Because we've got batteries for our flashlight. Now, I did hear a zombie outside here. And to be honest, I know someone's going to say, why don't you just take it quietly? 
There's, there's no point, and I missed. I completely dang missed the pooch there. Oh dear. There we go. There's one hit. And again, we killed it. Might have missed with a shot with our gun. We hit it with our bows. Okay, guys. So while we're going around, you can hit M to check the map. Now, obviously, sometimes this means my character, as you can see. It will do the same to you because you're trying to move the map around. Now, zombies are going to be in basically areas where there are buildings. Awesome of interest. Now, the zombies will not be around a merchant at all, so you don't have to worry. And they are not really in the woods. Unless it comes to your horde night for your horde bases. So, if you're hoping to get away from them, try and stay in the woods. Uh, the only thing you have to watch out for is wild animals. Tip number 13. Now, obviously, we still have a log on us. So, we are going to make a construction hammer. Really quickly. Because this hammer helps us, for obvious reasons, construct things. And obviously it's taken up a slot number three, so it can usually take up slot five, six. So now that you've got your construction hammer, you can decide where you want to build. And obviously you're going to have to lay foundations. And obviously to rotate your scroll, your mouse wheel, so you can actually turn it. You can obviously change the heights and position, whichever you want to do. Obviously when you find the location, so we're going to have this as an example. I am not set up here. We're going to just lay them down. They will snap. Sometimes you may have to look up a bit more higher, sometimes a bit lower down. And they will snap. Now obviously you can turn them and it will change its position from the one that you're looking at. So you go as big as you want or as small as you want. It makes no difference. And as you'll see, it'll tell you what to have on you. So it says E to add material or F to add all. Obviously we need six logs. So obviously make sure you keep an eye on your infantry space here because logs, funnily enough, do take up quite a bit of infantry space. And I will give you the example again by showing you how big these look. So this log is down. Now from one big tree like this you should get in total 10 logs. You get nine from the actual itself that one from the stump so there's the one now if I didn't have everything in the military backpack I could carry all of these so as you can see we're still carrying still carrying still carrying oh no it's dropped and as you see on the right hand side of the bar of the screen it doesn't say one added and obviously we've got some sticks so the last few turned into sticks instead so we're a bit short on that so as you can see they take up a very funny room and spacing so sometimes moving them around will give you a bit more room in your inventory so again it's all down to inventory space well inventory management guys so to be warned tip number 14 believe it or not it is a tip now when you open your inventory or your backpack you'll see this little buck so if you go into that You'll see your skills and how many zombies you killed. You'll see information, so information about the map you're on, or the game you're playing, or what your settings are. And obviously, technology, and the type of things you can actually learn and unlock. But unfortunately, it's going to take a bit of time, because some things need certain things. So, we're going to go for the processing table, that I've been calling the crafting table. You'll have to have it now. To actually learn it, you must have the items on your person to learn. Now, if I wanted to learn that, I need a 9 ingot, but I need to have mechanical grade. So I need to have my mechanics grade up to level 1. Unfortunately, I've not got anywhere near. So, if I wanted to make a board, I need to have a log on me. And now, if I wanted to make a box frame, I need to have three boards. Unfortunately, I don't have the requirements because I might not have the boards on me or I've not got the skill learned. I've not got the skill learned at all. So when you need to learn things it takes a bit of time. So tip number 15. Now as you can see you have a water and a food bar and health bar and stamina bar and everything else in between. Now as you can see I am thirsty but I have no water on me. What am I going to do? Well if I was at the right level, I could learn to make the rainwater collector. 
Unfortunately, I don't have any engineering. Well, the way around that is... I have to go to synthetics and I have to put down the craft uh, processing table, crafting table, whichever you want to call it, it's up to you guys, okay? I am not going to judge, okay? So, obviously, we need the three logs, the five stones, and the toolbox. Now, if I remember rightly, we did have a toolbox in over here, I think. So, I'm going to quickly get that set up, and then I'll show you exactly what happens. Okay, so I've got the logs that I need. So, I'm going to throw the last two in. When I come up here, now obviously with the crafting table, process table, depending how you want to do it, you can actually store the stuff in it. Now obviously I had picked up the cooking pot from earlier, and a few car parts and some simple parts. Now obviously what you have to do is to make sure, no matter what, even if I had it selected on board right now, I'll go back out, it's going to put on hammers. So make sure you obviously put it on to what you need. Now obviously this can make up to nine, but you have to make sure you have nine logs inside the processing table, because if not, it would only make the one and hold the other eight till you have the other logs inside. Which, obviously, I will now quickly grab these logs and demonstrate that I have enough room just for what I've got on me. And no more. So, like I said, we'll get this log processing. We'll say we're going to do nine. We've only got the one in. It's fish materials. There we go. So now that's in there, we're going to place the other logs inside. As you can see, it does go up in the numbers. But obviously it doesn't adjust for the one that's been converted. So you do have to make sure you know how many you've just put in. So five. And then it'll add it there. And as you can see, the logs turn into four boards. Now, as you just noticed, it did say it has increased my knowledge. Of engineering so making some logs from early stages can get your engineering up pretty quickly at the start which is what you can need to do especially if you want to get into better stuff okay guys good if you're lucky enough and you get enough experience from getting all your mechanical done to get the rainwater collector you're gonna be fine for getting water now unfortunately if you're like me who's not been lucky enough to get enough skills at this point you may be thinking of taking a little dip for some water. Now, the problem with that is, if you do drink the water, you do have a chance of getting some sort of infection or disease. Yeah, I know, it's a bit of a pain and problematic. Now, when you come down to a water source like this, you can also clean yourself. So obviously, as you see, we're at 65% on hygiene. Now we are now at 100% hygiene, so always best idea is not to really drink water, but clean yourself. But because I'm at a little bit problematic with water, as you can see, I now have reduced stamina cap and re regeneration. So yes, there is a chance of getting disease, but you do get some water. Unfortunately, to get yourself cured takes a bit of time. So, do be warned, if you drink the water, you do have a very high chance of catching something bad. Tip number 17. Yes, I know, I've got my, um, I've got that infection still, guys. So, once you've set yourself up, and you've got yourself a bit nicely done. Now, obviously, you guys may have got yourselves a bit more food than what I have. And I wish I'd made a campfire, because obviously I could have cooked food if I killed some animals. Unfortunately, I haven't done that. Obviously, you can make a wooden chest. You could probably start off with maybe a straw mat. So you have yourself a respawn point. But because I'm so close, I don't need to worry about that. Do I, guys? No. But if you guys are going to be out a lot further, I was just placing the bed down. So you have a respawn point. So if you die, you spawn at your home instead of back here. Yeah, I know. Very problematic. Now, obviously, what you want us to do is you'd want to be able to store your logs in a frame. You want to be able to store your sticks in a rack. And your stones in a box. And I'm not sure what that's used for. But yes. So you can actually store quite a few logs. Qu 
quite a load of sticks and quite a load of stones in the free. Now, again, a bed. You can either do a straw bed, you can either do a normal bed, or you can do a big bed. And by the way, guys, I'm not making these, it's just an example of how much room these take up. And obviously, if I was to do a storage box, it looked like that. Obviously, it needs a simple part, same for the beds. But they do need fabric, fine fabric, or plant fibre. So if I had enough in here. Now, obviously, when it comes to cooking. That door's a stone and sticks. So do I have the... Mm -hmm. ah, of course, I need to go around. Of course, I have the sticks, don't I? There you go. And I just need six stones, which obviously, because I'm pretty close to the area, this will not be hard to quickly grab. Right, and the last stone. So, as you can see, there's a bumper. So, obviously, what you have to do is you put your fuel source in. You'll start it off, you can put a cooking pot in there, which I'll do. Do. Which will give you an extra set of cooking spaces. Now, I'm pretty sure this might make up a bit better food. So, yes. If you want to cook your food, you can put it in the normal way, or you can put it in a cooking pot and cook your food. Which is pretty nice that you don't have to build an extension onto it. Tip number 18. Now, if you're having a bit of trouble getting yourself set up because you don't want to set up a camp very early on in the game, Obviously, as we checked for all the ammo and the guns in this build, there is a couple of stashes of fridges, which should, as you know, have some food and water. So you should be at least set for at least a day. Or at least in my case, not that much. So as you can see, water does you up by 30, which is pretty good. Now, obviously, stamina is affected by all these health conditions here, but also sometimes you need to sleep to get your energy level back up. So if not, if you're all maxed out, the reason why is because you need some sleep. It does actually help you guys get your stamina levels back up, apart from eating all the food that you can, and drinking everything that you can. Sleeping will sometimes get the stamina bar back up. So we're going to quickly eat. Okay, guys, so tip number 19. Now, if for some reason you guys are very lucky and you find the car repair kit, obviously what you can do is you can come over back to your car, especially or to the car at the start of the game, and you can get yourself set up with driving. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, I do not have a single car repair kit, so I cannot mm -hmm. repair my car. Now, some of you might be wondering, oh, hold on, what does the car repair kit look like? Right, so if we go into our book of skills and technology, as you see here, this is the car repair kit. So it looks like a toolbox with, obviously, you know, some clear seats, uh, some clearance. And obviously it takes three car parts, but obviously you need your mechanical grade out of five. So unfortunately I cannot make one, so I can't get this vroom vroom running. <laughs> So, if you're very lucky to get the car repair kit, you know, just just drive everywhere, okay guys? Because it's going to save you a lot of time. Tip number 20. Now, obviously, I've only come up the road a little bit from where we started. And I've come to this barn. Now, sometimes, this place can have quite a lot of good loot. Sometimes. Not all the times, as you can see at the minute. I'm doing very badly at my looting. Now, we do have a pickaxe, which can be very handy early game. Especially nine one. Toolboxes, they are going to be very useful, but unfortunately they're not the car repair kits. Look the similar, but not quite there. If I actually find one, John, this I'm actually gonna be shocked. Um and you know I haven't checked them because it's to see to search for long ah, no. But this is a good idea to see exactly what is here and what might be available for you. Another pot. Now, every time you do the game, it will be different, guys. So, just because you found something in one location, doesn't mean you're going to find the same item in the exact same. Some items you might, others you just completely won't. 
So let's have a little look. Do we have anything good in there? And we have a steel machete. Come on. And obviously that will go into my infantry slot four. Because it's small enough as a knife. That is absolutely fantastic. I can take these zombies on a lot better. And a solar panel. Oh. If only I had the generator. Anyway. So I now have to make a mental note of where that solar panel is. And quite a lot of that raw material. Because as you can see, there's a field of clay and stone. And maybe some other raw materials. Okay, now this might seem a bit of a stupid tip. But tip number 21. When you have either food or drink, you can actually start moving afterwards. So don't worry, you can move. Because I know most people will be like, oh no, I'm walking. Eat, and sometimes it stops them. You can still move while you're eating and drinking. Tip number 22. Now as you can see, we are coming up to a merchant. Now the merchant will obviously, as you know, sell you things for a good deal and price. So we're going to take, I don't know, we'll take this uh, corn wine. So obviously we would like the corn wine. And it shows how much we need to be able to negotiate. So if I put the AK-47 in there, it's going to say we have more of a right to get more from her. And again, it will change depending on what we actually add in. So of course it's saying we owe this much, she has that much. And again, it's still it's saying that the trade is in our favour. Really? For the AK-47, I actually get that much? Hold on. you got to be kidding me, right? Hold on. Don't tell me I can actually get the whole set just for the AK-47. And I got all of them! Oh, for my AK. Now, obviously, what you can also do is I have some things for her. So you can always get a relationship. As you can see, the relationship grows up and up and up. I know, I just bought these and I'm sending them to a giveaway. So our relationship is a lot better. Now, obviously, what you can also do is I want to learn skills with you. I want to learn from your tailoring skill or weapons manufacturing. And obviously... It depends on your relationship, which obviously it was at 40. We can obviously get to learn it, but obviously we have to learn the first one. So if we now check, we should be a bit better. Not the greatest, but a bit better. So we'll go back again. And can I do it again, or do I still need to get more? You still have to have more. So yeah, every time you use it, the relationship points go down. So do be careful. Tip number 23. Now, as you can see, I've come out quite a bit of distance. Up to here. Now, there are going to be a few zombies. And it's a plane crash. So this should hopefully have some good stuff. When I say good stuff, I'm not going to say eccentrically good. But we should hopefully find the odd few things. Now, obviously, just in case, you can sometimes have your tab open just in case. So you can see what nearby items are nearby. Just in case there's anything on the floor you might not pick up. Now obviously as you can tell there is a few zombies going around. And I'm using it to my advantage. And I got some medical stuff from her. Now what I'm mostly going to find is maybe some food. As you can see, another military backpack, which is going to be exactly the same sort as what I've already got. I'm hoping. Um, because it does say military backpack. But we also found some shoes, so we can put them on. So now our feet should look lovely and warmer. Pick up a small plastic bottle. And just in case you can't see it, having the tab open to see what's around also really helps. Now, at this plane crash, I'm going to definitely say there's a few good things here. Of course, a solar panel. Again, so that's two solar panels during this part of the tips that I found. Now again, you might not find them. You might do. It is all random items. So where I might not find anything, you might actually find something. And I found a hat and because I want to wear something, I'm going to wear it. So, okay. Can't meddle with it. Need to 
at all for it. So as you can see, we have a box nearby which may have weapon or an ammo. Or some ammo in. Fortunately, no weapons. But these little boxes do have ammo in them. Unfortunately, at the minute, it's shown me nothing. They usually do have ammo in, guys, okay? Trust me. No, you're not going to let me go up that way. Okay. But there is usually some more on this side as well. Where are you? Here we are. So, if you want to try and get some ammo pretty quick. See? 9mm ammo. And nothing there. So, unfortunately, my luck for the ammo here is a bit of a flump. Now, these books, I'm not exactly sure what they're to do with. It might help me to learn them somewhere. I'm not sure. Electric. Awesome. And volume 4, I don't need to worry about. Now, obviously, what you need to do is read the books fully to be able to learn them. Or at least get your skill level up on that particular subject. So, let's just jump over to here. And I overjumped. So, again, already I'm finding quite a few useful things. Not out in the open, but in here completely. Coffee beans. Ugh. No, thank you. Water. Water. Please. A vest? I can't really wear that as well as what I'm already wearing. Dog food. Sun hat. It really depends on how you want to look at it, guys. Let's have a look in here. What's in this one? Some trousers. I'm not going to care what they are. They're trousers at the minute, okay? I know they're a bit frilly, but they're trousers. Okay, guys. No judge. A candy bar. Some more water. Nothing in there. Again, I'm going to have my inventory open. So I can see what is nearby. So it brings up all the items that I might not see. So it's a good thing to always do just in case. Can't get to that box. Nothing there. So I could have bought over. Nothing in there. Some more food. I'm going to have food, but I'm not going to need to worry about it for days. This is what I'm going to say is awesome. Right. So check that boxes. Nothing there to check. Nothing there to check. What's in here? We have nothing. And in here, shotgun ammo. Unlock tools and simple parts, which I'm not going to worry about. And obviously, if I didn't have my hot bar open, or my, my bar open, I wouldn't have noticed there was food here. And it automatically sorts it out. Awesome. Tip number 24. Now, as you know, we found a book just recently, Volume 1. Now, obviously, you need to make sure that you have the right volume for, obviously, the level you're at. So, obviously, we need to read Volume 1 for our electrical. So, if I do that now, We'll get our character's level up to electrical level one. So finding books very useful because as you can see now, we have now hit. I'm hoping we've hit it. <laughs> yeah, we've hit it. So we already know it. Oh, I'm not in the right mood for it. Okay. Right. So we should now, hopefully, yes, we're at level one. So we can now start reading the level two books. You can still read the level one, but it might not do levels up that much but do be careful because reading a book does drain your mental stability okay guys so the last and final tip tip number 25 when it comes to reading books you've got to have a mentality of 40 anything lower than 40 you cannot read a book okay so it needs to be 40 now you can read some magazines like this one which can give you 10 each time which is absolutely fantastic because it's going to help now some food will obviously give you some mentality back and i think some of the drink hypes do as well even the smokes oh look at that oh yes we're keeping my mentality qu quite high so if i try reading now because i already know it I can't read the book, so I need to get volume two. But I can start reading again. So, just keep that in mind, guys, okay? 
Okay guys, so that is going to be it for my tips and tricks. Or well, I'd suggest that maybe looking at the boot of cars because as I was coming down here, I found two guns. And they take 9mm ammo. I only need the one. So that's going to be absolutely handy because now I can do some shooting. <laughs> and just in case, they can go number 3 or 4. So yes, guns will be very useful, they're very handy and very helpful. And they'll make my work a lot easier. Anyway guys, hopefully you've enjoyed. If you do have any questions or you think there's something I haven't covered, please let me know down in the comment section down below. Hopefully these little tips and maybe tricks have helped you guys out a bit more. Maybe understand the game because I know it can be very confusing with how the system works. Because again, it is an early access guys. So there's going to be a few things where it's like, uh, what? <laughs> Trust me, there's sometimes even I don't know. Anyway guys, I'll see you later on. Hopefully you enjoyed. Bye for now guys, and enjoy the rest of your fantastic day.